Hey everyone, it's Lane with Tim's Nation. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the uh, Space Marine list I'm running today. So I know, I know when you look at the pictures, it looks like Death Watch, but it is not Death Watch. It is Ultramarines in the Vanguard Spearhead Detachment. So Ultra Vanguard Spearhead looking like Death Watch. Uh, so uh, Ultramarines in the Vanguard Spearhead is not anything new. There are people who have run this type of thing uh, and done very well in tournaments, uh, giving the Devastator Centurion's Deep Strike and then using the Vanguard Uppy Downy Strat makes them really strong. But I'm trying a few things in here in this list that uh, I haven't seen competitively, including two Whirlwinds. Yeah, they're expensive at 180 points a piece, but I think people are used to there being no indirect fire on the table uh, because GW nerfed it so hard. And I have my list built specifically so that not a lot of things need the Oath of Moment. So whatever I put the Whirlwinds into, I can give that Oath of Moment so they get the full rerolls to hit. I've noticed there are a lot of strong armies that have a high speed, fast, uh, elite uh, infantry that shoot across the table and punch you really hard. Things like the Drukari and Blood Angels. And if they've got a squad staging up behind some train and I can't see them, if I can pound them with a couple of whirlwinds, I might cut that squad in half um, because they're strength eight with their guns. So T4 and less infantry, they're wounding on twos. That's pretty juicy. So I'm going to go through the list here and kind of talk about it. The idea with this list is that it is very efficient in its shooting because I don't need lots of things to have both of moment to really get their rerolls to get their hit rolls. So here we're going to go through the list uh, together and kind of talk about it. And we'll talk about the, the things I want to see happen uh, today in today's game. So here we go. All right. So this is 1,995 points of Ultramarines in the Vanguard Spearhead. So Ultramarines, the only thing that really matters to me for Ultramarines here is that I do have Uriel Ventress in the list. We'll talk about him in a second. And then the Vanguard uh, Detachment. Um, if you're more than 12 inches away from your opponent, when they shoot at you, you get stealth and you get cover all the time, which makes them very defensive and durable to shooting from range. So there's also a couple of really good strats in here, and we'll get to those in just a second. Uh, but let's start with our characters. We do have a captain with a jump pack. He's going to be leading some jump intercessors. We have a judiciar. Uh, this guy's great. He's going to be leading a squad of assault marines. Um, Assault Intercessors, and um, his Fight First is really strong, especially now that Heroic Intervention is only one CP. If he can Heroic Intervene into a unit uh, that has charged another unit, then they can still get to Fight First, so it's really strong for that sort of thing. I used this in a practice game I played the other day where the um, Judiciary's unit was near the Devastator Centurions. Someone charged my Devastator Centurions, and then I Heroic intervened and fought first, and essentially kept the Devastator Centurions alive and freed them up uh, by killing the unit that charged them. So very strong there with Judiciar. Um, next, we have Uriel Ventress. So Uriel Ventress, uh, he gives one unit, not his unit, but any unit, Deep Strike. And this is important for the stratagems. We'll get to that when we get to the Devastator Centurions. But Uriel Ventress just picks a unit at the start of the game and gives it Deep Strike. Uh, and then we have a Lieutenant in Phobos Armor. Now, this is the correct model. I've got a couple uh, conversions here I'm using for the other ones. Um, the guy with the, the sword down is going to be my uh, Uriel Ventress, and the guy with the sword up is my uh, Judiciar. But this guy is an actual Lieutenant Phobos Armor. The reason I have him... It's because he both deep strikes and infiltrates, but he has the deep strike keyword. And if I'm not uppy downing the dev sense, I can uppy downing him to score points. And I gave him the enhancement, the ghost weave cloak, so he has stealth and lone op. Now, for the same points, he's 55 points plus 15 for the enhancement, so he's 70. For the same 70 points, I could take the uh, lieutenant with a combi weapon because he has lone op already, but the lieutenant with the combi weapon does not have deep strike. And if I'm using that uppy downy strat, uh, I want that the unit I'm using on to have deep strike so I can position it uh, where I need it to be. So uh, lieutenant with Phobos armor, that's what he's doing today. He's going to be uppy downy, so to score me some points. I, I do have two squads of assault intercessors. Uh, these guys are great. Um, Reroll once to wound, and their unit rerolls the whole wound roll if they're attacking a target that's on an objective. 
Uh, we got one uh, squad of Assault Intercessors Jump Packs. They'll be led by the ca Captain. These guys are also really good. Good 12-inch move, impact mortals, and they fight well. A real good deal for 80 points to get out there and score some primaries and secondaries, but also when it's time for them to hit, they can put a little hurt on things. Uh, of course, now we've got the Centurion Devastator Squad. So the DevSense um, got Twin Link Last Cannon and the uh, Centurion Missile Launcher on top, which is uh, D3 Shots Blast. Blast is big in the 10-man squads. D3 Blast, Strength 9, AP2, D3 Damage. They only have a 4-inch move, which is their downfall. So in the Vanguard Spearhead, we do have an uppy downy strap, but it is really just up into reserves. So if I pick them up, I can bring them down in my turn. I pick them up at the end of my opponent's turn with a strap, but then I bring them down. It's using strategic reserves. So in order to make them spicy, I want to be able to bring them down anywhere. So that's what Uriel Ventress does. He gives this unit deep strike, so I can uppy downy them. Next, we do have a six-man Eradicator squad. Um, they're great for shooting at vehicles, guys. And they're going to be riding around a Land Raider, so will be able to get nice and close and get into Melter range with them. Uh, we do have a six-man Plasma Scepter squad. The Plasma Scepters, um, that three-inch deep strike is really strong. They hit really hard, and they're twin-linked with their guns. They're going to be a subject for the plus one to hit strat. Um, because there is a strat that gives them plus one to hit and plus one AP if they're outside of 12 inches of their target. So they don't really need Oath of Moment if they're getting that strat. Next, like I said, we have a Land Raider Redeemer. This guy doesn't really need Oath of Moment because he's got uh, two big old flamers on him, so he's not even worried about hit rolls, uh, just rolling that number of dice for the number of shots of those things. And then um, we've got two Whirlwinds. I'm going to try these Whirlwinds. I'm going to use them at first to pick up the cheap little units, the scoring units my opponent's going to use. But they are strength 8, AP 2, 2 damage. Um, so they can put some hurt on a little bit tougher units as well. They get D6 plus 3 shots. They each have a Hunter Killer Missile. They have a Storm Bolter. So they can kind of contribute there. At 180 points, they're a little more expensive than they were originally. That's why people stopped using them. But I think with a prevalence of dinky little units for scoring points, they're going to make, they're going to do me some good. They also kind of block out from deep striking too, because they don't need line of sight to me. So they can kind of block out. Um, the hyper crypts up and downy. So that is the list. So as I said, the idea with this list is I can put out a lot of damage very efficiently um, because a lot of things don't need to with a moment. You know, the Devastator Centurions always reroll once to hit. If the target's on an objective, they reroll the whole hit roll. Eradicators always reroll hits and wounds and damage into vehicles, so they don't need oath a moment. Uh, the Land Raider Redeemer, uh, it's got those big flamers, so it's not rolling to hit. It doesn't need Oath of Moment when it shoots. And then we've got the Plasma Inceptors. The Plasma Inceptors would come in. Uh, I can use that one CP strat that gives them plus one ballistic skill or plus one to hit and plus one AP. So they're not going to be really worried about, um, about Oath of Moment. And then the Whirlwinds are the ones that I'll use for Oath of Moment, so they can re-roll their hits. Uh, and because they get the protection of the Vanguard rules where they are neg one to hit and they always get cover, I can kind of poke them out a little bit and get direct line of sight on things when I want to. So anyways, I think they've got the damage output. I've got some small scoring units in here. I think it'll play really well, but we'll see how it does. So follow me over to the battle report and let's see how the Ultra Vanguard does.